I need three points. I need three, th three points. I need three points. So I've been insulted. I've been very rudely insulted. I've been, dis I've been dis dis disrespected. I've been mocked. Because um, I said that, first of all, Robin Lovett lost the chick has to start. And he has to start um, as the attacker. I never said he should be a striker. That's what, that's what some people say. I said that he should start ahead of either Giroud or Morata. 100% ahead of Morata. But I get why Giroud should, 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 should be there. But even if I say he should start ahead of Giroud. Um, have you heard of a, a, a false nine? Have you heard of modern football? But let, we'll, 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 we'll get to that afterwards. Um, Pep's chain needs to be snatched. We can't have Pep Guardiola defend it. Even if I think it's going to happen, I have sort of accepted it. I want to be wrong. Because is Pep really just going to just win this bloody title? So it's going to be the first time that it's going to win this thing back to back since 2009. So, and I'm still adamant that Chelsea cannot win the title with Morata and Giro. They cannot win the title with Morata and Giro. Now, I'm looking at the Guardian here. Shout out to the Guardian. So, they, they just give proposed lineups because, again, we do not know what will happen. Hazard is um, recovering from a back injury. But I'm looking at what I'm seeing here. And what I'm seeing here is problematic already. Because they have a front line of Hazard, William, and um, him. He can start. Hazard can start. William. Although I wouldn't go, I'd, I'd roll with, with, with Pedro, um, he can start as a striker. Giroud, all right. Loftus Chick, man, okay, you know what? Let's just in, interchange. So, so people say Loftus Chick is an eight. See, this is, this is why I find it so about, about, about people. Just, just relax. Press, press pause and, and, and get a meal if you have to. I use the eye test. I don't give a damn what position it says. I couldn't care. I look at how you, you, you play. Remember, Gareth Bale once upon a time was a left back. Someone looked at him and said, "No, nah, this guy has the characteristics for, of an attacking forward." Cristiano Ronaldo was just a pure winger. Um, Mourinho saw him and said, "No, I can use you as a finisher who plays higher up, but as a wide forward rather than just a pure natural winger because you no know, wingers are going out of fashion. I'm going to make you much. More, I'm going to refine you, making you much more of a killer touch." I look at him off the cheek and say, "This is an inside forward." He's he's a, he's an inside forward because of the way in which he plays. He does he does not have the characteristics of a guy in the midfield. He doesn't have the characteristics that a Kovacic, a Jorginho, or a Kante has. Because those guys are guys who are built for the trenches of the min, of the mid midfield. Robin Loftus Cheek is a guy who is an inside forward. He's an attack minded player, and it's not it's just not so bad. The, the, the goals that he scored is the win in which I saw him play for Crystal Palace. The way in which I saw him play in, in a few games for, for England, and what he did against Batsport. so it's it's everything because I've been I've been viewing him since he was playing for Palace. I was like, no, 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 no. Even if Palace struggled, this guy has something about him. There's ability that has uh, that he has about him, and he needs coaching. He needs coaching. He needs to get better. He's not there yet, but there is potential there. There is there is potential there, and especially when you're dealing with a team. Where two of the strikers can't score for ish, my lord, try something. Because guys, let's let's just be, be real right, right now. You, you can praise Giroud for Linky player and bringing in guys. He's a flipping striker who doesn't score goals. The other dude simply doesn't score goals and, and does nothing. Oh my gosh, sue me. Let's try something different. Sue me. Let's try something different. Is that so bad? Is that so bad to try something different? No, you know, he doesn't play as a striker. You know, Zuru and people, they are proper strikers. Stop being so flipping rigid, man. Stop being so rigid and just have some imagination. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. At least try it. If it doesn't work, boom, it doesn't work. You've, you've at least tried it. Because, my goodness, when you're in a situation where both of your strikers can score and are tepid in front of goal, my lord, bring, put hot in order in there. Pull off the cheek. Just, just, just try things. Because they say it's working. As far as goal scoring is concerned. And are you really going to rely on Eden Hazard to get 30 goals? Is, are, 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 are you crazy? Do you think that Giroud is not going to be the fall and the assist to help Hazard assist towards 30 goals? That's a, that's a crazy strategy to go ahead for this bloody EPL title. So guys, please think. Think about this stuff. I'm begging you. 
let's talk about Sean, Sean, Sean Dyke. I swear, I'm, 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 I'm just pissed off, man. Let's talk about the bloody Sean Dyke, man. What's folks, Hendrick, what's up? Basically, people think that Burnley are going to get relegated. I, I, don't, I don't think so. Um, I, th- I think they'll, they'll, they'll do all right. They'll do all right, you know. Um, it's definitely going to be tricky for them. Um, but I, I trust in Sean Dyke. I just think that, you know, he... I think there are a lot of teams that just that just worse than Burnley. I mean, I think Huddersfield are going to struggle. Cardiff are going to struggle. Fulham are going to struggle. Those, sorry, those three guys again. I don't think those three teams are going to do better than them. Burnley. Burnley they just need to find their feet, find their focus, get that whole European thing behind them, and they'll be good. Because this is going to be a difficult game for Chelsea. Because I think Burnley at Toughmore, they are. You know, these guys know how to ball. Um, and obviously, Vokes. Again, I thought I thought I thought I thought that guy was quality at um during the Euros for 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 Wales. He's definitely gonna be a, a guy that Again, I keep telling you people, man, David Luiz, man. Rudy guy's he's cool. I saw Rudy guy's tier tier two. Rudy guy is a tier two defender. David Luiz, bro, man. I mean there's a mistake waiting to happen to happen, man. There's a mistake waiting to happen. So um so if Hazard is fit, that's great. Ped, if 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 Pedro is fit, Pedro should start, should start ahead of William. William is, I'm seeing a slight decline of William. So roll roll with Pedro, roll with Hazard. Um, keep things defensively tight, but more so with regards to set pieces because again the the key thing is crosses. Those are the key things. Crosses. Louis, are you going to be out of out of position? So that's so the concentration levels have got to be. Le, Le Gis, I think the name of the game because this sort of system is still in the working stage but I think the, the key thing about it is and I will say pass with intent do not get lost in possession because when you get lost in possession that's when your um, concentration can slip and boom you get messed up which is what happened in the Man United game concentration slips boom Mis- m- 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 mistake you're out of position you, you, you find yourself 2-1 two, 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 down Um Can have Barkley, our white. So yeah, um, I definitely I think Love the Chick has to somewhat play Ephesians game. So how I would roll Hazard, Giro for structural purposes, Pedro, and once second half, sixty fifth minutes, you bring in Love the Chick for Pedro. William shouldn't shouldn't see the pitch. It'll be guys, just just okay, 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 okay. Let's okay, let's let's talk. <laughs> so if Love the Chick doesn't feature, what? It's like, well, you know, it's 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 it's, it's just the coach's d- 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 decision. I mean, come on. Okay, you can say, oh, it's bad. It borrows if it's who cares. You, t- you do just got a hat trick. Do just just got a a, a, a hat trick. I mean, you're, you know, this, this, the guy's not going to sniff sniff the pitch. He won't allow the guy to sniff the pitch. So, but I just think people just need freedom of thoughts here. But look, I'm I'm going to be real with you, Chelsea. Um, you, 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 I'm sorry, man. You, you can't win the, the title with, um, the, with, with, with with that dude and um, Giro up front. I'm, I'm sorry, you can't do it. So, how is this game going to go? Um, I do feel that Chelsea will suffer in spaces. Um, but I think that the quality of Chelsea's ability to... to, to I think they are the possession... And the intricate movement of them, I think, will tire out Burnley. I do think that Chelsea. I, th- I do think that the, the, the pressure will eventually win. I do see Burnley getting a G. I see Burnley getting a G. So, um, I'm looking at two one to Chelsea. I'm looking at. I, I, I think Burnley can can get a G. I think Burnley can get a G, but I think Chelsea can can get two Gs up in there. So I'm looking at two one. So I think. The name of the, the name of the game here is um, Hazard can't do everything. If Chelsea are to do something special this season, because again, City, uh, man, that's that's a beast, man. That's I told you, I I would I would love nothing more to have Pep's chain snatched. You know, because if I mean, I swear, if this guy just wins the title again back to back, man. I mean, The name of the game is that everybody has, has got to raise their game. It is stupid, irresponsible, and unrealistic to literally have Hazard carry this, this entire team. It, it, I mean, you cannot rely on a guy to create, be the points man, be the playmaker, and what score 30 goals a season. Come on, man. 
Sojiro, bro, I know that you link play well. Put that bloody ball in the net because you're 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 a flipping striker. That is that is what it says in the flipping job description. Okay, fine, you link play well. You're a, you're 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 the bloody striker. Please put, put the ball in the net. The other dude is not, is not going to score. I've already, I've already given up on the other dude. That guy is not, is not scoring. So, Giroud, oh, come on, put that ball in the net. So, um, 2 1, Chelsea. I believe that's going to be the scoreline. Watch for my post match analysis straight after the game. Remember to um, visit the website, halfoffootballhot.com, for more analysis man. the official website. Peace out, stay true, and I'm begging you, please stay black. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a Half of Football Hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the Football Hot, for more analysis. Peace.